Hi everyone, my name is Julie and today I'm gonna answer all of your questions. So let's start with the most popular one. Where are you from? What is your native language? So I am from Latvia. It's a small European country. I actually made the video on the Latvian language. And yeah, I'm from there, from Riga, the capital. And my native language is Russian because actually in Latvia there is a big Russian minority around 30% I think, or half of Riga is Russian, so I'm a part of this Russian community. How did you get interested in languages? Well, I don't know, it kind of came naturally. Already in my school in Latvia I had to learn four languages, uh, Russian, Latvian, English and French, and I don't know, maybe because we used to travel when I was little and my mom would always buy CDs of the local singers. Like we went to Greece and my mom bought CDs of the pop singers that were popular at that time. Still remember it was Eli Kokino, uh, Natasa Theodoridou. And in the CDs they had the lyrics of the songs. And I was always curious to uh, listen while listening to this song to know how to read these letters to learn how to pronounce this language. And we also went to Turkey, so some Turkish singers too. And of course, then I grew up, I traveled a lot and I was always, always curious by how people speak, what is their language, where did it come from, how it came to work like it does. So I guess that's why I learn languages and I do this channel. How many languages do you speak? So I speak Russian, of course, my native language, Latvian, language of my country, English and French uh, because I lived in France for seven years. So these are the languages I speak more or less fluently. Then goes Italian. I speak pretty well, I would say C1 level. Then Spanish, maybe B2, intermediate, upper intermediate. And I'm learning Japanese and Persian, but I can't speak them yet. Maybe on a basic level. Is linguistics your main field of study? Actually, it's not. <laughs> Languages is more of my hobby and passion, but I actually majored in urbanistics. It's like a study of cities, how they function and how to make them better and all of that. When you're learning a language, is there something you look for in the way it works to help you hook into it, so to speak. I hope I understand the question correctly. Well, when I start learning a language, I usually start by looking and understanding how it works. They call it grammar, but well, I just prefer the word structure, sounds less scary. When I start learning a language, I try to understand this structure, how the language works, and then I would go on and learn vocabulary. I know that the method is not the same for everybody, but for me, this is the one that works the best. How do you gather information for your videos, especially about exotic or rare languages? Do you speak those languages? No, I don't, unfortunately. How do I gather information? I actually like to start my research from papers, from scientific papers. I go and consult these type of sources. I also try to find like courses, beginner courses on a language. Uh, usually there you can find information on some interesting grammar features. Oh, and I also like a lot Duolingo forum. This is actually a gem. In the Duolingo forum, you can find people, native speakers who make posts about their languages, like uh, fun facts about a language or interesting features of a language. So this is really, really a good source directly from the native speakers and I use it a lot. And, and, and also one important thing, I also try to search for info not only in English. For example, for the Georgian video, there was much more resources in Russian, of course. For I know also I tried to find something in Japanese with my limited Japanese knowledge. Do you like traveling? Oh yes, <laughs> traveling is a big, big, big deal for me. I love traveling. I've been to 41 countries, I think. And when I travel, of course, I love learning about the language of the country that I'm traveling to. So maybe this also was one of the motivators behind this channel. 
place you want to go to but hadn't had the opportunity all the other places in the world that i haven't been to yet have you visited the countries you have studied the language of well yes especially the videos that i've done in the beginning that may be also the reason why i chose those languages because i've been to the countries and was a bit more familiar with the culture even for example, when I went to South Africa, I studied a little bit of Zulu because I knew I was going to Zululand. So I already started exploring it. But well, in more recent videos, uh, I'm just exploring everything there is. What do you think is the best way for the average hobby linguist to support language preservation? Okay, that's a tough one. Well, in my opinion, to preserve a language, you have to learn it and speak it in everyday use and teach it to your children as a first language and make sure that they transmit it to their children. This is how language goes on living, but it might be not the choice for you as a hobby linguist. So preserving a language, in my opinion, it's really a responsibility, first of all, of the native speakers. You as a hobby linguist, you might want to, I don't know, raise the popularity of the language, maybe something like I'm doing. Just inform the people how cool this language is, so maybe native speakers are not gonna decide to drop it out of use and gonna transmit it. What would you say to someone who is skeptical about the value of language preservation? Well, languages are our history. Why do we learn our history? Why do we need to know where we come from? Why do we need to know anthropology? Why do we need to know anything? It's just what makes us human, in my opinion. We just want to know stuff. <laughs> we want to research stuff. If we lose languages, we just lose these pieces of puzzle that help us know what actually happened. What's your favorite novel and why? I don't have a favorite novel, but I have... How are they called? Writers. Authors. I have writers that I like. Mm, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Salman Rushdie. Um, Boris Akunin. Who else is out there? Agatha Christie, uh, Erich Maria Remark. I don't know, many, many. I like reading a lot. Dostoevsky, Russian literature, of course. And yeah, Harry Potter is the best. Astrological sign. Virgo, obviously. <laughs> what kind of cat is he? He ran away. It's a Bengal. He was like a mix of wild and domestic cat. Okay, <laughs> last funny question. Do you speak cat? I don't even know what to answer to that. Okay, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.